In today's video, I'll share with you six stocks that I bought in November 2024. If you're new to my channel, I work as a finance manager at a top tech company with an MBA in finance and a CPA designation. Starting from March of this year, I've been investing $2,000 each month into stocks. $1,000 gets invested into undervalued stocks and another $1,000 gets invested into dividend stocks. So far, it's been eight months and I've invested $8,000 into each account separately. On my undervalued stocks account so far, I'm up by 27.4% and my account went from $8,000 to $10,188. On my dividend stocks account, I'm up by 3.7% going from $8,000 to $8,298. November is my month number 9 and I invested into 3 undervalued stocks and 3 dividend stocks. It's been a tough month to find stocks at reasonable prices because the market overall has been up due to the presidential elections in the US. But without any further ado, let's go over my undervalued stock picks first one by one and then we'll cover dividend stocks. Undervalued stock number one, Microsoft. Microsoft is one of the largest tech companies in the world. At the time of this video, Microsoft is valued at over $3 trillion. I bought one share of Microsoft stock at $431.80. While the stock price of Microsoft might seem high today, I don't think the company has reached its full potential quite yet. And many analysts on Wall Street agree with this sentiment, placing a buy recommendation on the stock. The average 12-month price target is $495, which is a 14.5% increase compared to its current price. Microsoft has a variety of successful products that help the company maintain its dominant position. Their most popular products like Windows and Office apps like Excel and Word are the company's main cash cows helping the company fund billions of dollars into other services including cloud and AI. I think this combination of having widely successful existing products and using the proceeds from them to invest into new ideas will keep Microsoft as one of the top tech companies for a long time to come. Undervalued stock number two, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder is a global leader in the beauty and skincare industry. At the time of this video, Estee Lauder is valued at $22 billion. I bought six shares of Estee Lauder stock at $68.59 per share for a total investment of $411.51. It's a very unusual investment for me because I didn't know anything about the company. I usually like to invest in companies I personally use and I'm a customer of myself, which Estee Lauder is definitely not one of them. So I had to ask my female family members on what they think about their products and got some positive feedback about the company overall. And what prompted me to invest in Estee Lauder now is that their stock is trading at a 10 year low. Their stock was trading at almost $400 per share just a few years ago, so it's massively discounted now. Wall Street analysts have a hold recommendation on the stock with a 12 month price target of $83. That's why I decided to buy it at $68 now to potentially benefit from a 22% increase within a year. Undervalued stock number three, Target. Target is a major US retailer. At the time of this video, Target is valued at $70 billion. I bought one share of the Target stock at $151.29. Target is one of those examples of companies that if I'm a satisfied customer myself, I'm also willing to invest in their stock. Within the past five years, Target has been trading at less than $100, and more than $250, which shows that there is some opportunity to make money by investing at $150. The Wall Street analysts have a buy recommendation on the stock, coming from some of the most reputable firms like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and others. These analysts are also placing the 12-month price target at $182, which would be a 20% increase in the stock price. I also looked at Target's financials myself and didn't see anything concerning, which is why I was able to rely on the Wall Street recommendation and invest into Target this month. Now let's go over my dividend stocks one by one. Dividend stock number one, BP. BP is a global oil and gas company. At the time of this video, BP is valued at around $77 billion. I bought 10 shares of the BP stock at $29.56 per share, for a total investment of $295.60. This purchase adds to my existing shares, increasing my position to 30 shares of the BP stock at an average cost of $32.80 per share. BP has a dividend yield of 6.32%, which means that the company will pay me $6.32 annually for every $100 I have invested in their stocks. There are two main reasons for why I'm continuing to invest in BP. 
First, it helps me to diversify my investment into the oil and gas sector, which is one of the most important sectors when investing in dividend stocks. And second, BP's high dividend yield is quite appealing for an income-focused investor. A dividend yield above 6% in many cases is even better than real estate investing, which yields only 4-5% to return on average. But the main risk with BP is that their stock price could be going down in the future, which may counterbalance the 6% dividend yield. That's why I always monitor the stock prices and buy more shares when the stock goes down to lower my average cost per share. Dividend stock number two, Hershey. Hershey is a major global confectionery company. At the time of this video, Hershey is valued at around $34 billion. I bought two shares of Hershey at an average cost of $178.23 per share for a total investment of $356 and 46 cents. As of today, I now own a total of three shares of Hershey at an average cost of $182.45. Hershey has a dividend yield of 3.21%, which means that the company will pay me $3.21 annually for every $100 I have invested in their stocks. The reason I continue investing in Hershey is due to its brand strength and the stability that it offers. When looking at dividend stocks, reliability is very important. Hershey's products are household staples that are resilient in both strong and weak economies. This consistent demand provides assurance that the company can maintain its success and continue increasing their dividend payments in the future. Dividend stock number three, Kraft Heinz. Kraft Heinz is a major food and beverage company. At the time of this video, Kraft Heinz is valued at around $37 billion. I bought 11 shares of the Kraft Heinz stock at $33.48 per share for a total investment of $368.28. As of today, I now own a total of 18 shares of the Kraft Heinz stock at an average cost of $33 and 78 cents. Kraft Heinz has a dividend yield of 5.14%, which means that the company will pay me $5.14 each year for every $100 I have invested in their stocks. What I like about Kraft Heinz is its balanced mix of stability and dividend yield. The company is well diversified and includes multiple widely successful products such as Heinz Ketchup and Kraft Mac and Cheese, along with many other brands. This diversification of successful products gives me confidence that my investment is not going to go to zero tomorrow and that I'll continue getting dividend payments from this company for life. Overall, for my November 2024 stock picks, I ended up investing $2,014.97 across six different companies. Half of the companies are a part of my undervalued stock portfolio and another half a part of my dividend stock portfolio. Every month, I also give a monthly update on how my stock accounts are performing, so make sure to check out those videos as well. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.